Welcome back. This is the latest from L'Oreal. It's the new L'Oreal Tint Caras Blossom range of lipsticks. And this is the actual packaging. It comes cling wrapped in a plastic sheet with most of the information like the list of ingredients, the manufacturing date, where made and the amount and the price. The actual product is very beautiful. It has a metallic finish. It also has a gradient or an ombre effect to it. It does depict the exact shade of the lipstick. Coming to the lipstick, it is sponge tip applicator, which picks up the product from the cap. It is very similar to the Maybelline Fashion Bro Duo Shaper. You can see the product is actually in the cap, and every time you close and open the lipstick, it's going to pick up the product from the cap, and you can apply it on your lips. The formula is super pigmented. It contains around 0.9 grams of product. The sponge has a pointed tip, so shaping, defining, getting to the corners of your lips and smudging for that perfect ombre effect all can be done with ease. It does pick up sufficient quantity of product with just one dip into the cap. It does open with a springy action. So let's see how much product and what intensity one dip of the cap can give. I'm swiping it multiple number of times. I've swiped it around five to six times and you can go for much more number of swipes than that but you can see it's pretty intense. The color, it has not creased. It does smudge off immediately after application but after about 20 minutes it does not smudge whatsoever. You can see here it does not budge at all. It does transfer like I said immediately after application but once it sets it does not transfer now the formula of this one is super light super comfortable extremely lightweight one of the lightest formulas I've ever tried so far in the Indian market it does not crease it does not uh, define the lines on your lips it lasted for around five hours which is pretty long-lasting and it survives light meals and drinks it does fade away with greasy food but evenly you can go in for the ombre effect with just one product or multiple shades and you can also use this on your cheeks as a blusher you can just dab on a little bit of the tint and then smudge it off for a nice beautiful blush tint on your cheeks you can also use it on your eyelids as an eyeshadow Overall, this is a beautiful product, but on the downside, it could be a bit drying, especially if you have super dry lips, you need to prep it by exfoliating and applying a lip balm. And also, the product messes up the cap like this. And also, I found it's a little steep on the product. It is expensive for 0.9 grams of product and also go in for the deeper and darker shades if you have pigmented lips. Hope you enjoyed this review guys. Be tuned in for the next one.